What's up guys, I'm here in New York City with my friend Brian, who you might recognize as the points guy. And today he's gonna give us some of his best tips for how to accumulate points when you travel. So let's start off with the best credit card. Ooh, Drew, that's a great question. I think the overall best credit card for points earning is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You know, people say it's $450, it's so much, but you actually get 300 a year in travel and then triple points on all travel, all dining. I swear by this card, guys. It is the best card. I have gotten so many deals with this. So not only just get the right credit card with a sign-up bonus, but you know, you can have a couple different credit cards. It's not gonna kill your credit score. The key is to maximize every single dollar that you spend. So certain cards give, you know, extras on gas, groceries, there's tons of different categories out there, so look at your spend and then get the credit cards that are the most lucrative for every dollar you spend. So what do you think, a lot of people watching don't have any cards and they need to sign up. What do you think is the biggest mistake people make when they're starting out? Yeah, I mean, I think starting out, the biggest mistake is not signing up for programs, right? Sign up for your points. Put it on your boarding pass. And if for some reason you fly and you forgot to put your points on it, keep your actual boarding pass because you can fax it in and still get credit. Another mistake is if you fly a certain airline, you don't have to bank points to that airline. So if you're flying Emirates, you can actually bank to Alaska Airlines, which is a partner. And those Alaska miles are worth much more than Emirates miles. Okay. Points and miles, if there's one thing you get away from this, are like a currency. So there's sites like Award Wallet where you can actually track your points. And people don't realize you actually probably have a lot more points than you realize, but you got to get them all into one place to visualize it and then set a goal and then work towards that goal. And another tip is using miles last Last minute's amazing. If you're spontaneous, airlines open up tons of seats last minute. So if you're, you know, open to the destination you go, check and you'd be shocked at how much award availability is available at the last minute. To me, using points is like a crossword puzzle. It's like a mental activity and I still, you know, even though I have employees, but I still love it. And I, you know, have done very well in my business, but I still love not paying for a $10,000 first class flight. Right. Even though I can buy it if I wanted to, it, I still get immense satisfaction saving that much money because then it allows you to do amazing things when you're at your destination. I don't think you guys understand this guy. Like I've been following him on Instagram for a couple months. He takes the most ridiculous flights. I mean, those like... Etihad has the residence, which is a separate bedroom. You get your own shower on a plane. And you know, this guy is really not short, so he needs the... the I'm six foot seven. Stand up, stand up. I'm too tall for coach. I'm five seven. <laughs> oh my God, wait up. That's like a photo. Wait, yeah, that's what? a photo. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.